And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, once again, bringing you my thoughts and review the last night's episode of DC Superman and Lois, Season 2, Episode 6. So, very, very, very interesting episode here. A lot of information dropped about, like, where this bizarro Superman comes from, why is he exactly on, he's on Superman's Earth, and what is exactly is his intentions. So if you have not seen this episode, full spoilers, so let's begin. So in this episode, not only did we get to see Superman try to, I guess, maybe understand his enemy a little bit better, because we he doesn't know where the Superman has come from. We do get a little, I guess, a flashback at the beginning of where the Superman Bizarro shows up, where he ha is in his own planet, the sky is pure red, and... He needs like an inhaler to breathe in kryptonite. That's always been his motto. He absorbs kryptonite and he makes him stronger. So I guess he needed that to, I guess, sustain his power, which he doesn't have a lot of it. And um, for some reason, he decides to bury underneath the ground in that, I guess, radiation. I, I guess that suit that made it look like he was doomsday at one point. Uh, but it looks like it was a radiation suit. So he burrows down to the ground where the mines are at. And somehow he ends up transporting himself into the other, to the other earth, to the other side, the mirror opposite of where he is at. It's not another earth per se, but it's basically kind of like if somebody from Alice in Wonderland popped into our world, kind of like that kind of thing, where everything's flips upside down. So it's kind of like that. While that's going on, we find, like I said, Superman finally gets to understand where he's coming from. The military, that new general guy, he's kind of at, at Superman's throat trying to figure out, yeah, we need to communicate better. He thinks um, Superman should be working for him. Superman thinks that they should just work together in harmony, not not against each other, kind of. And even his, you know, the general superiors are like telling him, hey, don't be messing this up with Superman. We need to figure out a way to do this now because they already lost two of their soldiers, which was those two super people that he had. Two of them died because of this bizarro character. While that's going on, while Superman has to deal with that, all that drama, Lois Lane has her own drama to deal with, basically dealing with the fact that her sister shows up into her home, and they basically go back to each other's throats. Now, their father, who's now retired, he's trying to, I guess, commit, you know, be in that centerpiece to try to get the two girls to communicate where Lois is telling her sister, hey, listen, that coat lady, she's evil. And apparently there's something to do with her with, with Bizarro. Apparently in the opposite world, she conquers the world somehow with that necklace that, it, that Bizarro had on. So there's something towards that weapon. We have no idea what it is. But um, it's very interesting to see that in his world, she's like the big enemy now, which is kind of crazy. But we'll probably get more information about that in coming episodes and, of course, Jordan and Jonathan are also on the throats because, you know, Jonathan's inhaling superpowers and is going to his head a little bit. You know, he's using it to, to, to get himself better in the football field. And I personally think that this is going to activate his actual powers because he is a Kryptonian. And it is doing it, but once he stops, something's going to happen to him where he's actually going to get his real powers. And him and his brother are going to go at each other. Kind of like how... Um, um, Superman and his brother go out with each other with each other. And speaking of brothers, at the end of this episode, which is even more crazier than seeing Bizarro Superman, was the fact that the government has finally betrayed Superman, where they take him down. They turn off the lights and basically make um, one of the military rooms that he's in kind of like radiate the same materials as the Red Sun, because you know, and the Red Sun takes away his abilities. He can't. He's just a normal man. And they take him down. They basically arrest him for treason. Because he they found out that, yeah, I have this guy. If you're looking for Bizarro, he has him in his fortress. And he didn't, quote unquote, tell the government that he has an, his, an alien kind of like him in his custody. Which is like, okay. But I guess to the government people, that's, I guess, treason to America. So... Go figure. So they locked up Superman, and it looks like next week's episode, he's going to have to break out with his own brother, so Morgan Edge. So we'll see what happens with there. 
But very interesting episode. More information has been dropped about it, about what exactly why Bizarro is there in the first place. What is up with that that lady who's apparently and who's going to become an enemy of Superman later down the road, and is also an enemy of Lois Lane. So there's that. We don't know what's going on with there. Why is Superman being locked up now? We just don't know. But um, we have to wait to see what happens. More more information drops. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode and. What exactly do you think is going to happen now that we got some information? Do you think Superman is actually going to trust his brother? Or he's just going to use him to get himself out of there and try to fix his relationship with the American people? Who knows? We'll see what happens. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good day.